After being in the mix a little bit, what are your initial thoughts about the, the team, like what you've seen? I know you haven't been able to see much. Um, I mean, initial thoughts, I mean, everyone was uh, welcoming. I mean, every locker room's different. It seems like this one, the guys are tight. And, uh, you know, that's not something that necessarily shows up on the stat sheet, but that's something that really matters in, uh, in a team environment and team setting. So that was definitely one of the first things I noticed. And, uh, yeah, these guys are cool. They gel well together. And, uh, I mean, after one day, that's pretty much why I noticed. I'm sure you, know, you asked me in a week or two, I'd be able to give you a more detailed answer. What's it like for you all? I guess you kind of incorporate, incorporate yourself into a new team. It's the third time you've done it. What do you want to get across to teammates? How do you kind of handle yourself? I mean, same way I always have. I just shut my mouth, go to work, and I mean, hopefully, just be appreciated. I mean, I always be friendly, introduce myself. I mean, I'm not the type of guy who's going to stick to himself or be on his own mission, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be the loudest guy in the locker room. That's just uh, it's just not my personality. I'm just going to quietly do my work. Anybody here that you knew, or any familiar faces, or, or yeah. I mean, Hogan was my college quarterback, so uh, a lot of familiarity there. I should stay on his couch right now, so yeah, good friend too. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm just getting to know everybody. It's like, you know, being the new kid at school, so, you know, a lot of names thrown at me at once. I'm sure by the end of the week, I'll be able to, you know, remember everyone's first and last. Right now, it was just, it was just a lot all at once. Does it matter for you if Ryan is here at this point or not, or can you still get the work done you need to get done? I mean, at this point, was just nothing. There's not a football out there. It's just running and lifting. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't need him to run next to me, so to speak. But um, I mean, yeah, definitely. Once you know, we're tossing the ball around, I, I would love to get reps with him for sure. Um, but at this point, it's a question of just you know, standard running and lifting. In your career, how soon can you catch up and feel like you were here last year or for multiple years? Can you do it by training camp? <laughs> That's the goal, right? Uh, I mean, I hope so. I mean, I'm just. I'm just excited to learn this offense, learn my teammates, understand the system, and you know, understand what's expected. So I mean, on day one, I, I, I don't, couldn't give you a definitive day on that, but I mean, my goal is just to assimilate as quickly as possible, and learn the systems as quickly as possible, and be ready to compete. From your past experiences, like what was the most critical thing in developing that relationship, that, that synergy, the chemistry with your quarterback? There's no substitute for repetition at the end of the day. Uh, so, I mean, just the more reps I can get with them, uh, the more time I can spend understanding, okay. And it's a relationship, right? Like, just understanding how my body moves, like the subtle tells of my body mechanics. I'll tell him when I'm getting ready to change direction. Like, while I was with Matt in Atlanta for four years, it took us a couple of years where Matt would, you know, just understand. So, I mean, obviously, it got a little less time. So, I mean, I would love to just get as many reps as possible just so I can understand, you know, how does this ball spin? You know, what, what kind of arm angle am I looking at uh, when I'm whipping my head around? But I mean, nothing earth shattering, but just, you know, everyone has their subtle, you know, little differences that, you know, you got to get used to. If you're not able to get reps right now, what can you be doing to, to build that chemistry with Ryan? I mean, until he gets here, I mean, just, you know, I'm let him enjoy time with his family. I'm, uh, you know, getting shape. I'm getting to know my teammates and uh, learn the systems that are in place here. And, uh, understand how to even walk around the building without getting lost too much. So, I mean, day one, you know, we're going to take some baby steps. Right now we're figuring out the building. What has not been like to, uh, up to this point after signing him? Are you looking for a place or you, you've been working out on your own somewhere? What, what, what's kind of the last couple yeah, of Yeah, until I got signed, I, uh, I, was just, I was working out west and uh, just staying in shape, running, lifting, doing everything I can, waiting for my next opportunity. And, uh, yeah, took a, uh, had a buddy's wedding overseas. Um, so it was right around the time I signed. And, uh, yeah, came back, just back to work, and uh, I made sure I was here for day one, available for the entire off-season program, uh, knowing how important it was for me in this short and this abbreviated time for myself to uh, to get those extra mental and physical reps out there. So that's what I'm looking forward to. With yourself, Derek, uh, Robert, and uh, AJ, how excited are you to see how you guys stack up with the other groups in the AFC that all seemingly have loaded up this offseason? Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't met AJ or Derek, but I've been a you know fan from afar of their games. Um, you know, I understand they're really good people and uh, easy to get along with. So I mean, you know, easy to get along with good people. So I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to competing with them, uh, accepting my role, doing whatever I can in the run game to help Derek out. You know, if it means I'm in pass protection, helping AJ out or Derek out or whatever it may be, I'm just here to you know do what I'm asked to do. Is it normal for you 
to, to be in attendance for phase one or is it is it more important when you change teams how have you approached that in the past I mean what, what's what's normal these days you know what I mean I mean past couple of years we weren't we weren't able to so um, I guess say besides the past two years I mean I was a younger player in Atlanta I, I always made sure I went um, it was very important for me I mean I still think it's important I don't think you know what I mean I'm just gonna speak for myself I mean me being a new guy here I, I think it's very important to me to be here Find your way around town at all and figure things out? Uh, yeah, Google Maps is my best friend right now, uh, figuring it out. But I, uh, I was playing with, play with Jack Conklin up in Cleveland. He uh, sent me some good recommendations for dinner. So after I'm done with you guys, I'm going to read that text and see, uh, see what we can make happen uh, for dinner time. You mentioned noticing that everyone in the locker room get, gets along, how important that is. And you've been on successful playoff teams throughout your career. I guess how much can that foundation you know, I guess improve a roster, make the players even better than they would be without that. Yeah, you know, without, you know, making it too specific, team specific, I'll just say I've been in places where it's been tight and I've been in places where it hasn't been tight and it's real and it doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but it does. Like, you know, if you really care about your brothers, you're going to, you know, finish a little extra. You're going to do a little extra if it's just, if it's not that important to you, you know, when someone smokes your boy with the football and it doesn't mean anything, you just turn and walk away. It's just kind of, you know, just a subtle thing that everyone pays attention to. Again, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but just little things like that, you can tell. It's just like, okay, how much, you know, do they really care about each other?